future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So hello and welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Ruby Gill, and I extend my warm welcome to all on the behalf of lovely professional university. So attendees, we all are gathered here virtually to witness an incredible session with our expert who is going to tell us all about decoding the next level jobs. So I'm sure you're as excited as I am for today's learning process. So before we commence, allow me to introduce the expert of the day. Dr. Harpal Thetti, Professor and Senior Director, Division of Career Services, Lovely Professional University. A visionary, a leader par excellence, and a person committed to quality when it comes to academic. An intellectual personality with an experience of more than two decades as an academician. He has been instrumental in elevating the visibility of brand LPU amongst the corporate world, testimony of the same in an overall 10x times increase in number of corporates hiring future leaders from LPU, exponential rise in addition of pedigree and marquee brands, elevation of average, mean, median and highest packages offered to students across 30 plus schools and the 200 plus courses, sharp rise in inking of niche corporate MOUs and industry backed courses, formulation of COEs, course integration and curriculum updation. To his credit, he has been recognized as a senior IEEE member and recipient of 101 most fabulous training and development leaders in India. Moreover, he was an integral part of the team instrumental in developing the unified technology learning platform under the mission 10X program at Wipro Technology. So, sir, it's a privilege to have you on board with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. So, uh, additionally, I would like to welcome our admission nominee, Ms. Rachna Bajaj, Senior Assistant, Lovely Professional University, and she'll be discussing about the uh, admission, eligibility, scholarship, and the infrastructure part of the university. So, thank you so much, ma'am, for giving us your valuable time. So, with this, we'll begin our today's webinar. So, over to you, sir, for the next proceeding. I'm looking forward to a great interactive session. Thank you so much for all this kind words, ma'am. Uh, we'll have to now live up uh, whatever you have built up now. So welcome uh, to each one of you, whomsoever is listening to this uh, telecast of ours today. Uh, we feel that uh, you would be in midst of writing uh, uh, your exams, which, which are happening very soon now. Um, uh, we will tell you the journey which we have done with a lot of, a lot of our students. And uh, what is in there for you is a very prom prominent question. And then towards the end of this small deck, which I'm going to present right now, uh, we'll do a small AMA uh, where you can ask me anything about uh, placements. Uh, so yes, uh, the the placement journey uh, is is basically a marathon. So we we take it as a marathon, not as a sprint, which means that we'll have to keep working along with the students uh, right from the inception of uh, whatever courses they have chosen to do with us at at the university. And the university will no leave no stone unturned, so as that no, we make a great career for each one of you. That's the intent. And with this intent, uh, let me start presenting a small deck of mine. Um, the the topic says that we are trying to demystify the placement journey and decoding the next level jobs. These are two very powerful uh, word uh, uh, sentences or or a part of snippet of sentences. Um, as I said, uh, it's it's a journey. So we will will start working along this journey with each one of you. Now in the world which is which is now seeing a lot of insurge of the chat GPT and the bards of the world and um, whatever is happening macroeconomic wise uh, elsewhere in the world uh, we are in between uh, some really exciting times and uh, these really exciting times will actually help you make a great career for yourself and uh, uh, we are seeking uh, we, we are telling this to be as careers not as jobs because you know, we feel that um, uh, uh, getting a job is no brainer but then making a career out of that job and then making yourself sellable indispensable to whatever you are doing in your life is where the trick lies and that is what we are trying to uh, give a glimpse of, uh, of of what we have been doing with a lot of your seniors. Now, if you see, um, erstwhile, this department used to be called as training and placement. Now, we have coined a new word for it since last 
couple of years now. And we see that uh, we are doing a division of career services. So it's a central division cutting through all the schools and all the courses which the university has to offer. And then we are making careers. So our job is to get uh, great careers for you. And that is what uh, we have been doing. Correct. So with this, uh, I'm sure that uh, today nation uh, uh, wants to wants to achieve things like this, and uh, they want to achieve uh, do bigger things in their life, and then uh, make great name for themselves, name, name, uh, fame, and money, and all that. So I, I, I and uh, on counterpart of it, I'm also sure that uh, 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 the the attention span of uh, today's generation is actually really really sh uh, short. So give me some few minutes, uh, and I'm sure that if you give me this few minutes, it'll be it'll be well spent with somebody who has done this for two decades now and with a university which will leave no stone unturned to make a great career for you so with this um, i will give you a glimpse of the impactful journey uh, of of how we have curated great careers for our students uh, we are going to give you some glimpses of our growth partners so all our hiring partners we call them as growth partners because no uh, uh, hiring is just one event so we don't work with our growth partners for just one event in the entire year we actually call them for multiple things. I mean, our curriculum is the latest in the market. Uh, if you see, we keep on updating our curriculum very, very uh, 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 regularly. So as that, no, we are trying to give you the problem statement of today, the pedagogy of today, the professors of today, uh, and, and uh, giving you a glimpse of how the future will look like and inviting you to start this journey where you can be indispensable to the future. Uh, so that is what we are trying to give it to you. And then the last snippet of my uh, uh, presentation today will talk about how do we prepare our students. And by the way, uh, we call our students to be as virtos, and we invite all of you to be virtos with us. Virtos, simple meaning, uh, word meaning, uh, we want you to be change agents. We want uh, you to do great things in your life. We want you to do great things for yourself, for your parents, for your peers, for your siblings, for your companies, uh, for the ecosystem, and also for your alma mater. That's the intent. So uh, this is our logo. So if you if you see the interpretation for me for our logo is that um, our students are just about everywhere, and then we are cutting through the the students are cutting through um, uh, uh, across geographies, across jobs, such that no, uh, they are they are more sellable, they are more visible with uh, the holistic work which we have done with our students. Now, if you can see towards the backdrop of this, you can see a lot of logos. So these logos are the logos where a lot of uh, your seniors uh, are working. Uh, uh, so we are housed at block number 32. As in when uh, you think of taking admission with us, uh, please do visit us. We are at block number 32. And uh, this is where the wall of fame is there. So with this wall of fame, we, we have, this is actually a picture of that wall of fame where we keep on updating the logo. So you can see some, some mega logos towards the backdrop of it. Uh, yeah. So some figures and facts which we feel that uh, will leave you all stuck. Uh, so 2,000 plus recruiters, uh, they do visit uh, the campus. For all the courses, uh, 2000 will include all the full time opportunities, the internship opportunities, the live uh, 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 project opportunities, and all those kind of things. So, 2000 number of companies visiting a campus in 365 days, you can do your maths well. The highest package which we were able to achieve last year, uh, which was achieved, was about 64 lakh rupees Indian currencies. And uh, that is what we have achieved. Uh, 350 recruiters. Uh, 350 recruiters out of these recruiters will go to the very pedigree IITs, IIMs, and NITs of the country, and then they will offer the same packages and they will offer the same roles. Two two critical things I'm saying here: same package and same roles. That is what uh, our students have been grabbing as well. Uh, thousand plus companies have given packages more than five lakh rupees, which means that it's a great ROI, um, return on investment in terms of your your time, your energy, your money, which you're spending out doing a course here. Uh, the highest stipend uh, which we which we were able to achieve was about 1.6 lakh rupees per month. 1.6 lakh rupees per month while you're still graduating, which means that we have kept our final little, little, very, very light because we want all our students to work with the best of the minds in their campuses on the problem statements of today, using the tools of today, and then trying to see where the future lies. Uh, uh, which means that most of our courses, students will do internship in the final year. Uh, internship happened two ways. I'm going to give you a little bit of glimpse of that. Suddenly, somewhere in my deck today. But then, yes, we are very uh, aggressive to be working along with the corporate world because you now we feel that the actual problem statement should come from the industry. That is what uh, we have been uh, uh, very consciously doing with our students. 
uh, 21-22 batch. So we were able to get uh, packages of more than 20 lakh rupees. So we've got uh, accounting of about 100, 100 plus offers, 600 plus offers where we have done uh, 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 between uh, 10 lakh rupees and 20 lakh rupees. Uh, 10,000 number of students and plus is what we have placed in the uh, uh, last, uh, last two years. Um, most of these companies know, are Fortune 500 companies which do hit the campus. Now, Fortune 500 companies basically are ranking in terms of what roles, what packages, what geographies they are working along. And I'm happy to share that 50% of our students have actually gone ahead and uh, uh, taken the offers from these Fortune 500 companies. Uh, this then brings me to the next uh, 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 next slide, which talks about our endeavor of what we have done with some of our students uh, graduating last year and uh, last to last year. So you can see Yasir. So he graduated uh, in 18 from here, and then he was a campus pick uh, from a company which was in Bangalore, and he was getting us to start with. He got a stipend of about uh, 50,000 rupees, and then a FT of full-time opportunity of, uh, of about 50, uh, 20 lakh rupees. And then subsequently, he was able to build up his resume in such a way that he was then picked up by the platform, the very platform on which we are communicating right now. And he was picked up at Germany at a package of three crore rupees. Uh, you can see our students who have been picked up at package of uh, 50.5 lakh rupees at package of 50 lakh rupees. Um, uh, the highest offer, as I said, was 64 lakh rupees uh, last year, which was uh, Google and 62.72 lakh rupees. Uh, this was urgent. Uh, yeah, so the idea is that uh, we have been working along with all these students and then making them great, uh, 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 great uh, workforce to work with any of the companies. Now you can see Amazon here. Uh, so Amazon had a package of 46.4 lakh rupees. And then similarly, you can see an Amazon for a similar role, but from uh, the circuit branches. So the package difference is there. So you can see a package difference of about 40 lakh rupees here. Uh, this year, uh, we are uh, uh, admissed a little bit of a turbulent market. We have done great for ourselves. So you can see Balwinda and Vishwajit. So they have been picked up by Palo. Uh, so Palo have actually given them a package of uh, 55 lakh rupees, close to about 55 lakh rupees. You can see in the one of the biggest uh, semicon uh, companies coming in, uh, hitting the campus, Silicon Labs, did pick up three of our students from circuit branches at package of close to about 23 lakh rupees and uh, 18 lakh rupees respectively. Similarly, these are some of the facts and figures which uh, we wanted to cascade to each one of you so that no, this becomes a proof of concept for each one of you. So you can see the Cognizance and the Cap Gemini's and the LT Mine, uh, Mine Trees with Pro DXC. So these uh, are our regular uh, growth uh, partners and they have been uh, hitting the campus and year on year we have been able to build up the story to, a, uh, to this great uh, saga which I'm presenting here. Uh, so uh, not only they come for their vanilla offerings, but they also come and do the differential packaging with us. Uh, so the differential packages are the packages which they give to a lot of uh, NITs, a lot of, uh, lot of uh, uh, IITs as well. So that is the that is the kind of uh, impetus uh, which we have been uh, we, we we have been able to achieve with our students. Now we don't stop here. So a placement at uh, your university apparently will be of uh, of of uh, we, we also talk about international placements so when we are talking about international placements we've got student representation from about 30 countries of the world so the idea is to place these international students internationally that is one way of doing international placement and the second way of doing international placement is placing the indian kids into the international scenario and you can see we have been able to do with a lot of our schools a lot of our courses starting from polytechnic to hotel management airlines and tourism which also includes management here, architecture, fashion management, again, as an entity, and then engineering. So we have been able to place a lot of our students and uh, there has been there has been a continuous uh, input so that we are able to make this story bigger, bigger brighter uh, with, with days to come. Uh, so you can see Colgate Palmolive here, you can see an Amaral, you can see an Hattich. Uh, we have also recently done a Shoba reality. So have, uh, I mean, that's not there, but then uh, we have done that as well. You can see a lot of cruises as well. Mascarida is there, Barbarito is there. So these are uh, the companies from, these are the companies from uh, the fashion vertical. Yeah. And uh, some more international uh, uh, placements which we have done. So you can see some of the names here. So these are students who graduated from us. You can see a Highgate at a package of 32 lakh rupees. You can see an Urbane at a package of 10 lakh rupees. You can see Barbarita, Mascarido. Uh, so you can see uh, that we have been placing our students in Bangladesh, Dubai, Bangkok, Bangla uh, uh, Nepal. And then subsequently, we are trying to increase our footprints in the larger Europe and US as well. 
so some more uh, placement uh, successful stories so i i i cannot show you the entire thing which we have done but then i'm leaving you with a small website and a link to the website where you can go and see for yourself as to what we have done for all the courses which means that if you pay a visit to my home page and then click on the placement tab this will then take you to my placement uh, web page where we have put all the stories of what we have done thus far with all the students there'll be a drop down box on the drop down box you can actually put if you if you have if you have chosen to uh, do a computer science with us you can put a computer science there and then see for yourself what set of companies what set of roles who are the poster boys and girls for us and and similarly if you have uh, thought of doing a biotechnology with, uh, with us you can put a biotechnology there and see for yourself as to what all companies what all packages where we have placed our students, what role they are working. So everything is actually enlisted there. So I sincerely request that you should pay a visit to our homepage, which is lpu.in, and then click on the placement tab, which will then take you to the placement page where all the stories which I'm saying right now are enlisted. Students uh, who have graduated uh, from, from, our, uh, from, from our university have been doing great for themselves. So you can see this one crore club uh, uh, where no uh, students have been picked up with the best of the companies, be it Google, Amazon, Intel, EY, Adobe, uh, I mean, Microsoft, and the students are actually working there. So you can see for yourself that uh, students have made great careers for themselves and for their uh, families and for their alma mater as well. Now, this is one part of the story. The next part of the story is really critical is where uh, we are conversing today as to how do we prepare our students? How do we prepare our virtuos? That's that's where what is it in for me is answered, correct? So we will leave no stone unturned, uh, unturned to make you successful. And then there are various avenues by which we make your resume look very individualistic and stand out in, in, in the crowd, which means that we want your resume should look very individualistic to your efforts, your story, and what is the expected outcome of your stay at your university in terms of packages, in terms of roles, in terms of geographies where you want to work subsequently after graduating from here. So we work uh, with each one of you right from the first year of inception, wherein you know, we've got a complete finishing school. So this finishing school start talking about the soft skills aspect of it. How do you present yourself as a message? How important you are whenever you are going for any conversation, be it a formal or a semi-formal or an informal com conversation. For us, you are the message. Uh, and, and we prepare you that way so that you, know, you carry that message and then every part of your body, said, unsaid, presents that story of yours. So... Uh, 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 we uh, we start working along with uh, you from the first year, as I said. So this is a finishing school. We've got about 200 worthy faculties who will keep working with you right from the day zero. So they will first uh, prepare you on the soft skills aspect of it. Then subsequently, they will take you, handhold you, work along with the school so that uh, we make your resume look uh, really, really rich in terms of content as well. So two things which we do, uh, uh, we will make you present that content, and then we'll make that content really, really superb. And then the placement team comes on top of it, such that you now your story goes global. Uh, so that's the PEP, a professional enhancement program. That's our finishing school. Now we want uh, all of you to be benchmarked also, because you now we want, uh, we believe in curated inputs. So these curated inputs will only come when when we understand your story, when, when we understand that where you are standing, when we understand that where is the, uh, where is the dream uh, uh, which will take you to uh, 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 which set of companies, which set of roles, which set of geography, as I said. So we do a lot of third-party assessment also. These third-party assessment actually give us some understanding as to where you stand among your peers inside the university, among your peers in the northern part of the country, amongst your peer in the entire country, amongst your peer across the globe as well. So we do a lot of uh, these third-party assessments. Whenever any company comes in, we run a series which is called as a KYC, which is which stands for Know Your Company. So this Know Your Company will tell you about uh, the management of the company as to what roles the uh, uh, company is coming to, what are the different businesses on which the company uh, is working. And then uh, subsequently, uh, uh, a lot of data sets which will help you build your story uh, as a subset with the larger story of the company on which you are going to subsequently work tomorrow. So we do a lot of practice tests as well. So a uh, lot of uh, inputs will be given in terms of cracking the first level of hurdle, which is the online assessment. Uh, so that will be given to you uh, by uh, a lot of platforms. Uh, 
think that um, uh, think of a scenario where you are talking with the best of the minds who have done businesses across businesses in terms of geographies in terms of businesses and they coming inside the campus and then uh, telling their story to the larger world so we do these kind of uh, there is hardly a day where we do not do multiple events in the university so we do a lot of guest lectures we do a lot of workshops so the idea is to keep you updated as to what is happening uh, globally so as that you now we we prepare you for a global roles as well Uh, we don't stop there so there are a lot of industry backed uh, industry endorsed uh, uh, certifications industry backed industry uh, 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 endorsed events where we want our students to participate and uh, that is what students have been doing uh, so much so that today my hacker at rank in the in the country is about third and that has stayed there since last so so many uh, years now uh, which include a lot of iits i uh, 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 nits and and uh, 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 what not so that is a testimony of the fact that students have been working long and cracking all these offerings uh, uh, be it a mackathon be it a hackathon or be it a, uh, a present uh, uh, if you have to present a case or something like that so uh, we, students have been doing great for themselves and then subsequently we do this internship drives and then the placement drives or the placement drives and the internship drives that, that, that there is an overlap between both the things so that's how we feel that uh, getting a job uh, is one thing but then preparing you and then making you worthy towards that job such that your story becomes a subset of the larger story of the company that is where the trick lies and that is what we do with a lot of our students so this gap assessment um, as i said uh, we do in the first year itself uh, we we try and see that we give you a lot of curated inputs and this will only happen if we understand where you are standing so we do this gap analysis as to where you are standing and where we want you to take subsequently how does your resume should look like uh, what your resume should have the content of the resume uh, 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 and the data sets pertaining to that so we work along with you so that we make you a holistic product yeah so uh, in in a uh, 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 nutshell so this is what we do uh, in the finishing school which is a very unique concept uh, which is very unique to your university uh, we do multiple things starting from the verbal ability to the analytical ability to the soft skills aspect of it and 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 we don't stop there uh, we feel that we have to give global careers to our students so uh, and that'll only happen if they understand the foreign languages as well so we've got a foreign language uh, a lab inside the campus where you can book a ticket and then go for yourself and do this learning reading writing aspects of it and then understanding the culture of uh, the country on which we have to go and uh, work subsequently because no the intent is to make you a truly global citizen and then only happen if you understand the local language uh, uh, apart from the business language so that is that is that is how we prepare our students on the foreign languages as well so um, as i said we do a lot of assessment test Uh, uh, a lot of the inputs will be given to you outside the class. A lot of inputs will be given inside the class. Uh, so hence we say that uh, some input goes in the credited way, some input goes in the non-credited way. Um, we make you participate in a lot of uh, competitive events, hackathons, makeathons, ideathons, pitchathons, and whatnot. Um, uh, there are there is there are a multiple plethora of opportunities where you become a campus ambassador for a company, which means that for a company you're the face. then you present that company uh, uh, with your face inside the campus so we do a lot of campus ambassador programs we try and see that you do a lot of industry visits there is hardly a school which does not do a tie up with uh, with the actual world where the business is happening which means that most of our um, problem statements also which are academic in nature are a straight lift of a snippet of a problem on which the industry is working today uh, we try and see that we do a lot of co branding courses as where the first right of rejection for any of these uh, 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 endorsed uh, curated inputs will be with, uh, with will be lying with the company example i can give the example of informatica here so we do two courses with informatica so the first conception of these students who do this course will be informatica themselves if not if they're not selected with informatica then we open it for the other ecosystem as well so i give you a input as to what we do in terms of workshops uh before you go into the campus drive we do a lot of practice as well so these practice uh, sessions will be uh, endless by doing this mock drive so we do a lot of mock drives company specific input which i just said know your company that will be given to you so that you understand as to tomorrow what you have to go and work in the company we do a lot of guest lectures and webinars as i said hardly a day where we do not do multiple things uh, across domains um Uh, which then brings me to the first and the critical part of any conversation which will happen with uh, with the corporate leaders uh, which is your resume 
So we feel that your resume should not be a cut copy paste. It should not look like somebody who has been there, done that, tasted success uh, and, and a copy from uh, Google. We don't do that. Uh, or neither is it a input given by any of the peers. It's your story. So we work with each one of you so that no, your story is truly celebrated. And, and there are the data sets which, which are pertaining to you becoming a truly global leader. So, so your resume should talk about that. So we, we see that your resume should stand out in the crowd so that no, uh, there is, a, there is a, a possibility of opening a dialogue with the leaders uh, within the companies. There, there are multiple clubs and activities which we, do keep, uh, which we keep doing uh, outside the classes, inside the classes. A lot of our students do a lot of life projects because you know, these are opportunities where you are working with the best uh, in the best uh, uh, categories and giving your input such that you, know, you try and become the best as well. Um, then we try and handhold our students as to how their digital footprint should look like. So uh, uh, the digital footprint is one very critical component today. And we feel that uh, your LinkedIn, your GitHub, your Weebly, your digital portfolios should tell all should all tell the same story, which means that if I'm a, a at uh, LinkedIn, I cannot be a a at face uh, a dash at facebook and uh, a double dash at instagram your story should look like a across a digital platform that is that is what we consciously work along with all our students and then uh, give them this input as to how your how, how this will, this will happen now the industry today is uh, what is the industry looking at the industry today is looking at problem solvers so this slide is a uh, straight clip from mckenzie and company uh, wherein they say that these six data sets are required for any of the freshers to open a great dialogue with the recruiter. Uh, first, you need to be very, very curious. You need to look at a problem statement as a complete problem statement, not a snippet of a problem statement. So you should understand that how big is the problem statement and where you can fit in, where is that your IOTA will go and will make a difference to the company and to the larger ecosystem. Uh, tolerate the ambiguity and stay humble. That's very, very critical because no life as it is uh, will put you down so many times. Uh, the idea is to come back yet again stronger every time. That is what uh, uh, we, uh, uh, as a culture, we are passing to our students. Um, uh, taking a dragonfly view me means that uh, you are not looking at a problem statement just from a very uh, uh, a narrow standpoint, but rather you are looking at a problem statement from a larger mindset, saying that, hey, if a problem statement is happening uh, in maybe in Australia with, with this problem, uh, will the same kind of a problem also happen maybe in U.S.? If that has to happen, uh, is there a resolve? Is there a cultural uh, misfit which which may stop things happening? So all this uh, uh, is where we say that uh, you need to take a, a lot of uh, dragonfly view, uh, pursue the occurring behavior, uh, uh, what is naturally happening, and uh, what could be experiment uh, to create uh, your own data. Because you no, know, we, we we will leave no stone unturned so that you can experiment on yourself. And the best project on which you have to work. Uh, all your life is you yourself. So that is what uh, we have been giving to our students. And that is what we have been telling to our students that your story should be very, very different from the crowd and uh, your story should stand out. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, you need to understand that uh, tomorrow, if you, have, if, you have, if you are being picked up by any of the company, you have to work in groups. So very consciously inside the campus, you will, feel, you will see that we, we keep you in a lot of heterogeneous groups, which means that... Uh, not all the BSc computer science students will be staying together. They'll be staying in the same campus, but not in the same room. Very consciously, we see that wherever there can be an outlier in terms of uh, somebody who thinks out of the box should be there inside your room, so that no, you you do the right conversations. That is very very critical. And then we we have been uh, 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 very aggressively uh, telling our students that there 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 will be multiple opportunities where you can do a lot of show and tell. So whenever you have done anything, please take that anything or uh, something inside the inside the conversation when the placement uh, conversation happens because you no, know, then you'll be able to take the interviewer towards or the recruiter towards your story. And then uh, if at all there is a marriage of thoughts, I mean bang 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 that that is what we want. So with this, um, I am going to uh, rest my case, uh, but then uh, with a small invitation. So I want all of you to travel this great journey. Uh, which we have uh, uh, glimpses of which we have seen just now uh, uh, with lots and lots of students. And then we want uh, 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 you to travel this journey along with us. Uh, with this, I'm going to rest my case, but then I'm still available uh, to do a AMA question. Ma'am, all yours.
Thank you so much, sir, for your insight and guidance. Quite an impactful presentation. And uh, I believe your expertise and knowledge is exactly what students needed today to move forward and grow exponentially. So thank you so much, sir. And uh, yes, sir, we have a few queries from the attendees. So with your permission, we'll take up those queries. Yeah, please, please. Let's, let's go ahead. Okay. So, so there is a query from some anonymous attendee. He wants to know that what is the percentage of placement in CSC branch in last year? One of the most uh, uh, most uh, trusted names uh, is what LPU Computer Science has become. Uh, there's hardly a company which doesn't come inside the campus. All, all the students uh, who make meaning are getting placed. My report says that uh, we do close to about 95-96% of placements. The others who have less left out, uh, so we try and see if we can uh, take them to this entrepreneurial journey or we work along with them so that no, if, even if they have graduated and still not got a job, uh, they can get a job. So that's my candid answer here. Thank you so much, sir. So, so we'll take up another query. Uh, the attendee wants to know that, can you tell us about something about food science and technology? I think they're talking about the placement of uh, in food science and technology. So anything on this, sir? Yeah, uh, it's it's a it's a great course to do because you no, know, see, uh, uh, food will never go out of fashion. Fashion will never go out of fashion. Law will never go out of fashion. And if you marry a little bit of our technology with this, I think uh, the world is there to take care of it. And that is what we have been doing along with a lot of our students who have graduated from food technology. And then uh, uh, there is hardly. Uh, a great career which we don't do so you think of jubilant so we we do jubilant i mean the kfc's and all that so uh, they do come inside the campus and uh, not only the vanilla course uh, uh, offerings they do give they also give a lot of r&d kind of thing because no as i just said food will never go out of fashion uh, it'll always stay and the jobs will always stay there thank you so much sir so we'll take up another question sir uh, and the attendee wants to know that these placement courses, the classes which they are going to uh, take uh, avail for the placements, so they will be in accordance with their uh, regular classes or they will have to take the different classes? Like after so, the... Uh, yeah, I, I talked about it in little snippets. I said that some of the courses are credited. Some of the courses are non-credited because no, we want uh, uh, that, that certain things should be there inside your resume. So, and then we also want to cut down on, on, the, on the, our contacts so that you know, we keep our, uh, keep, keep our engagement that will stronger so that you no know, towards the end of the class also, we are able to build up that story of yours. So as uh, my candid answer here is that some of the inputs are in between uh, into your curriculum, which is a part of your accredited courses, but then there are certain things which we want to do beyond classes as well. And uh, that is how that is how we take the help of these clubs and the activities outside. Um, uh, and we have got a very vibrant uh, student life, student experience inside the campus. So you should be here to see for yourself. Uh, as I said, there is hardly a day where we do not do uh, meaningful interventions with our virtuos. And, and uh, that is how we holistically prepare our students. Indeed, sir. I completely agree with you on this, that this com campus is such a vibrant and energetic one. And uh, so we'll take up another question. Uh, Saurabh Kumar, uh, the qu query you are putting up related to admission uh, in LPU in, in management course that will be resolved by our admission nominee as she is going to join us soon. So uh, we'll take up another query from Priyanka Kumari. So she wants to know about the highest placement in MBA last year. Although these all information is available on our website, that is right. so everything is available on website. So yes, why last year? Let me tell you about this year. So we have done a company in Dubai where uh, the package is 40 lakh rupees. That's amazing. All fixed, all fixed, all fixed, no splits, no splits. Uh, yeah, so the MBA has been a, a, a yet another uh, marquee course for us. And then uh, um, all the big four in consulting, they do come in. Uh, uh, travel management or product management or project management, uh, finance, fintech. Uh, we have been uh, uh, inviting a lot of great companies and students have been responding to all the uh, great companies who hit the campus. So, uh, I mean, uh, another great school, another great school. So, uh, do visit uh, our uh, homepage and then click on that uh, placement tab and put MBA there. You'll see some mind blowing companies, some mind blowing figures, some mind blowing packages. And some mind-blowing roles which we are uh, uh, which we are able to give to our students. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for resolving all the queries of our attendees. And with this, I would like to request our admission nominee, Ms. Rachna Bajaj. Ma'am, please kindly join us. And we, uh, before we commence, A very good afternoon, Dr. Rudy. Good afternoon, Dr. Harpal Kiti, sir. So uh, I'll be quickly sharing my screen. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, before you commence, the attendee wants to know about the L admission in LPU in management course and the eligibility okay. criteria. So I would request you to highlight these programs so that the attendee can get the information related to this. Sure. I hope, uh, I suppose it's for a bachelor's program, right? Yeah, ma'am, he didn't mention it. Saurabh, uh, Saurabh Kumar, can you please mention that you are looking for a UG or PG program? Ma'am, you can show them the uh, UG program. Okay, great. Yeah. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon, Saurabh. So, this is the criteria. I'll be just quickly sharing the pathway to go through all the details and what are some of the important dates for our uh, UG management program. So you just have to simply visit our official website, which is www.lpu.in. And on the top, you can see an icon of admissions where we have listed all the programs as per your eligibility. So here we have after 10th programs, we have after 12th program, after graduation for post-graduation as well. So as we have a query for uh, after 12th program, which is a bachelor's program, I'll just click on this icon. And here we have listed all the disciplines which are available in our university. So I'll go for management. Here we have listed management separately for you. And under management, we have a regular BBA program. We have honors industry collaborative program where we have blockchain and tie up with risk and analyst research corporation. We have BBA business analytics. We have financial markets with entire with NSE Academy. We have BBA International Finance and tie with IMA USA. Apart from this, we have some specialized program for you as well, uh, like in tourism and hospitality, BBA IP, BBA airlines and airport management. We also have international credit transfer program, BBA 2 plus 2 program. And last but not the least, we have integrated BBA MBA program. So I'll I'm just sorry to interrupt. Yes. Ma'am Saurav Kumar has just messaged us that uh, he had already completed Eugene Bachelor in Commerce. So okay. he wants the suggestion for MBA program. Okay, great. I'll switch to that as well. So again, once again, I'll just simply switch it from here. I'll go for the after graduation program and I'll click on the management discipline where we have all the MBA programs. So I'll go for management. Here we have MBA and other industry collaborative programs like uh, process automation and blockchain. Then we have this uh, MBA business analytics in tie with KPMG, MBA financial markets in tie with NSE Academy. We have MBA supply chain and logistics. We have hospital and healthcare management, international business, tourism and hospitality. And again, the one plus one international credit transfer program. So I'll just uh, share the detail for a regular MBA program. Just click on this tab and here we have the duration firstly. This MBA program is in a modular form. So there will be total eight terms, a two years program with total eight terms, which means four terms in, a, in one year. And once you scroll down, you can see some of the tie-ups for this program, for your placements and for your internships. The eligibility criteria for this program clearly states that students should have scored minimum 55% in any bachelor's degree it would work. Then apart from this, a student also needs to qualify LPU NEST exam, which is national entrance and scholarship test. If you have appeared for any other national level test, it can be CAT, MAD, ZAT, etc. Then the LPU NEST exam can be exempted for you. Once you have appeared this in this step, you need to qualify an interview, which will be compulsory to take admission in this program. Once you scroll down, I'll quickly show you some of the important dates. So here we have highlighted the important dates icon for you. This is the schedule to register for LPU NIST and interview. We are done with our previous schedule and we have entered the current schedule, This, which goes like this. The last date to apply for LPU NIST exam is 31st March. And once you have applied for the test, you will get exam dates between 5th April to 30th of April. And let me tell you, this exam will be test center based. 
so you can appear for this test in lpu campus or some test center information in your city will be shared with you once you have appeared for lpu nest exam your result will be declared on 4th may 2023 and after the declaration of uh, in lpu nest exam you have to proceed for the slot booking of interview so for interview you will get dates between 10th may to 15th of may and once you have appeared for interview, your final result will be declared on 16th May 2023. And if you qualify, you can proceed for your seat booking, which will be open till 31st May. So make sure that once your result has been declared, you proceed for your provisional registration by making the initial payment to take the maximum scholarship benefit and book your seat in your desired program. Apart from this, if I talk about the fees and scholarship, once you see, we have highlighted the fee for you. Although the without scholarship fee for this program goes 1,90,000 per semester, but we have different scholarships available in this program. Scholarship can be on the basis of your last two qualifications, starting from 80% in 12th or 70%, 70 to 79 in graduation. You can directly fall in category three, that is of 30%, in which your fees will be directly reduced to 1,33,000 per semester. Let's say if you score well between 90 or 80 in your 12th or uh, graduation, you will fall in category two, that is of 35%, and your fees will be reduced to 1,23,500 per semester. Last but not the least, if you score 90 or 95% above in your 12th or graduation, you will fall in category one, that is of 40%, and your fees will be reduced to 1,14,000 per semester. And please mark that whatever scholarship is being applicable to you will be applicable for the next two years. It will not change in between. Let's say if you couldn't score scholarship on the basis of your 12th or on the basis of your graduation, you still have opportunity to apply for scholarship on the basis of the LPU NEST exam. Because this test is not only for eligibility, but it will help you avail better scholarship also. So this is the tentative cutoff and total marks. If the exam will be for 320 marks, and this is the tentative cutoff to fall in category one, two, or three scholarships simultaneously. You can also explore some other scholarships. Here you can see we have some other scholarships are available for you. Scholarships can be on the basis of your uh, national level test, CAT, SAT, MAT, or any uh, one of these, depending upon the percentile and rank uh, which you are falling under. We have some other scholarship based on your innovation, startup, or entrepreneurship. If you think you are falling in any of these categories, feel free to mail us on our email ID, which is scholarship at the rate lpu.co.in. Apart from this, we also have some financial aid in our uh, in this program. Financial aid for need based uh, for like economically weaker section, single girl, child, etc. Uh, we have uh, financial aid for serving retired defense, CAPF, paramilitary personnel and their dependents. We have financial aid to person with certain disability and financially to a person with certain disability in case of blind. So you can share such information with your near ones and who are in need of such financial aids as well. So yes, these uh, this was an overview for our uh, MBA program. Apart from this, if you want to explore for any other program, the pathway is simple. Just click on admissions and after 12th, after graduation, whichever program you want to get enrolled yourself. In case if you have any queries, feel free to get in touch with us. We have our helpline details just on the right side of the screen. We have our schedule, our WhatsApp team available for you. We have a live video counseling icon if you want to go for some more detailed information. Apart from this, you can also get in touch with us through our helpline numbers, which have been listed right below on the website. So I'll last bit, uh, I'll just wind up with one more important thing. If you want to register, just simply visit our website admission.lpu.in and you can uh, first register yourself and proceed for all the uh, formalities like the first step that is registration of LPU NEST exam. So over to you Dr. Ruby, I suppose I have shared some basic information which can be helpful to Saurabh and definitely other students to apply for admissions at our university. Absolutely, thank you so much ma'am. Thank you for uh, giving us, giving the attendees a brief idea about the website, how they can approach the university authorities and they can apply for the admission and check other details as well. So thank you so much, ma'am. So with this, uh, we'll conclude our today's webinar. So that's all for today. I would like to express my appreciation to the experts for their valuable contribution on a, web a webinar, which was on decoding next level jobs. 
and my deepest gratitude goes to all those who have attended this webinar and helped to make it such a successful one and experts i'm sure your years of experience your years of research will definitely help the audience to choose the right path so until next time i rubikin finally sign off the session thank you everyone